insect art. Today, we're gonna to learn all about insects. What insects do you see in this painting? Hmm, there are so many. Ladybugs and butterflies, bumblebees, beetles, caterpillars. Hmm, it's beautiful. People have been making art about insects for a long time. This piece was created by Flemish artist Jan van Kessel. It is over 300 years old. Look at all of these different insects. And what are they eating? Looks like an insect party. This painting was created by A.C. Smith. He's an African-American artist. This painting is called Flight of the Butterfly. Wouldn't it be amazing to have wings like a butterfly? This is a portrait. Do you remember what a portrait is from our previous lesson? Hmm, if you guessed making a painting or a drawing of a friend, you're right. These insects were created by Mexican artist Concepcion Aguilar. They are made out of clay and then hand painted. You can see her here creating a piece in her art studio. She is hard at work. She's working on a big piece. I wonder what it will be when it's done. I bet you it will be beautiful. Here is a close-up of one of her insects. She is using repetition to make her insect beautiful. Repetition is when we make a shape over and over again. So if you look at this insect, if you go to its head, you'll see white spot, 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 white spot. She is repeating white spots. She's repeating things down here too. Orange spot, orange spot, orange spot, orange spot, orange spot, orange spot. So repetition is when we repeat a shape or a color. This insect was created by Japanese artist Raku Inwo. He creates sculptures out of plants and flowers. Wow, look at that. This one's made out of dandelions. How did he do that? This insect uses repetition too. What does he repeat over and over again? If you guessed purple flower petals, you're right. Purple flower petal, 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 purple flower petal. He also repeated green branches to make his legs. It's quite beautiful. Look at this butterfly he made. What does he repeat here? Lots of flower petals over and over again. Do you think you can make an insect out of plants? You might have to try later on today. Look, he even used the flower stems to make the body. He is so creative. Kids make insect art too. Look at these insects. These kids made a collage out of cutting paper and gluing it down. You might also notice that it's symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. Students in Ms. Barbro's first grade class created these flying insects. Do you know what they're called? If you guess dragonfly, you're correct. We have one, two, three, four dragonflies and one ladybug today. Look at these amazing bugs. It's time for us to create our own insects. All right, for today's lesson, you are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. That is all. And I'm going to draw with my marker so it's a little easier for you to see, but a pencil will probably be better for you today. 
So let's go ahead and start, and let's start with a ladybug. So we're gonna start with just an oval shape. And we're gonna to go to one side and draw a line going down and have it curve going to the back. And we'll make another line going down and have it curve over. Now we have our shell. Let's make a head, just a half circle. We can make some antennas. And ladybugs have six legs. So let's make some rectangle legs. We will use repetition, rectangle, 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 rectangle. And then let's also make some spots. We will repeat circles over and over again to make our ladybug spots. And if you wanna add some eyes, you could add some eyes too. We have our first insect. Let's go ahead now and add in a friend for our ladybug, okay? So let's first make just a swirl. And on front of our swirl, we're going to make a half circle. And then we're gonna come underneath and add a point on the back. We've made a little snail friend and we'll add some antennas onto this one too. Now, I think it would be nice for our friends to have a home to live in. So we're gonna make some grass today. When we go to make our grass, we're actually gonna just make great big V's. And let's move them around, making them a little bit different here and there, some taller than others. All right, our friends now have a home. And I think it would be nice to have some flowers for our friends as well. So to make a flower, we're gonna come down into where, where the bottom of a V and we're gonna take and make one line and kind of bend it over a little bit. And right alongside that, we're gonna make another line going up, two lines side by side. And that is gonna be our stem. And on top of our stem, we are going to make a circle. And it's very easy to make some petals here. We are just going to repeat circle shapes all the way around. We have our first flower and we could even repeat circle shapes in the middle as well. Circle, 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 circle. We could add in some petals too. We have a flower made. That'll be nice for some of our insects. Let's add in one more. We're gonna take and add in another line somewhere coming up out of our grass. And we're gonna put another one right next door to it. We already know how to do this. And add in a circle shape. And you guessed it, we're gonna put on flower petals. And if you would rather make a different kind of uh, shape, you are welcome to for your flower. You are just going to repeat it all the way around. And if you want to add a shape in the middle, repeat a shape, you can. And I think I would also like to add in some flower petals. So now I have two petals which I think now would be very nice to add a bumblebee. So right here, I am going to add a bee in. I'm gonna start first with a circle. And then I'm gonna make kind of an elongated half circle. I'm gonna leave the back end open like that. And on the back end of this, I'm gonna add in a sideways V. That was pretty easy. And we're gonna add in some stripes. I'm gonna add in just a couple all the way down. And we can give this bee an eyeball. 
and our bee is a friendly bee. It's coming to pollinate. It gives us food. We'll add in an eye and a smile. We need a couple of antennas. And then our bee is also going to have six legs. Let's add in some legs. It's missing one thing. This thing is very important. It can't fly without them. We are going to add in two circle shapes for wings. Now we have a flying bee in our picture. I think over here would be nice to put in a butterfly. Butterflies are easy to draw. We can first just start with a long squished circle with rounded ends or a rectangle with rounded ends. And on top of that, we're going to add a circle for its head. Now, when you go to make wings, you can make any kind of wings you want, but a really easy way is first just to bring two lines out on the side. And then you can bring them back in to the halfway point in the body. And then I come from that spot and I make lines going down. And then I can bring those up to the body. Now it's time to add those finishing touches. Our butterfly needs antennas. You could add some eyes and a smile if you have room. And you could use repetition, anything that you would want to repeat. I'm going to add some circles into mine maybe some big ones down here with circles inside. Oh, and I've got a butterfly. I could use lines too. Line, 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 line. There are different ways to do it. You know, it might be fun to have a ladybug crawling up the stem of one of our bugs. Let's try to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna come to one of my stems. And I'm going to make a line a little bit away from the stem. Just a little bit away. And then I'm going to make a half circle on top of it. So I kind of have a floating half circle next to my stem. And the reason we made it float is we're going to add six little legs now. There are its legs. And we can add another little half circle at the top for its head, maybe a little eye. And now we can add some spots on the side. And don't forget a couple of antennas. We have a little ladybug. Well, that was easy. I could add little ants in my grass too. I could take first start with one circle shape floating. And I could put another circle shape in front of that. And another one on that. You need to have three circle shapes for an ant. And then in the middle shape, you're going to add your six legs. You could add an eye and some antennas. We've got a little ant. We could add lots more ants if we wanted to, too. So you could just keep adding more and more. You could even put in a sun if you want. This is a fun way to do a sun. I'm going to come into the middle and I'm going to make a big smiley face. And then I am going to repeat rectangle shapes. I'm going to use repetition and repeat this shape. Rectangle, 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 rectangle. That's a fun way to make a sun and it's a little bit different. Now at this point I could keep adding more insects or I could start to take colors in it if I have any colors. You could use crayons, markers, paints, anything you have. Or you could just leave it as a drawing, whatever you would like. I went and colored in one of them that I made earlier, and I just used some crayons. 
So there's all of my insects playing in the garden. It's your choice to decide however you want to do it. I really hope you enjoyed learning all about insects with me and insect art. And I hope that you'll keep creating insects on your own throughout the whole summer. And don't forget to go outside and try to make an insect out of plants. You could try to make other things out of plants too. It'll be really fun. I'll see you again in our next art lesson. Bye-bye.